After the departure of Jesus Christ, some historians, new converts and people claiming they were eyewitnesses and disciples, started to write narrations about Jesus Christ and what he said, including passages about his birth, upbringing, teachings, and departure. These narrations are like what Muslims call Sirah of Prophet Muhammad, the biography of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The texts are not divine. Historians and scholars write about events during the time of the Prophet for the benefit of other generations to come. Many narrations across the land were written by men and never were initially taken as the word of God. The Bible was not revealed in the English language, nor does it contain the verbatim word of God. Today's Bible is only a man-made effort to translate and compile thousands of fragments of the original manuscripts found in Koine Greek, which is not commonly spoken today and the manuscripts only date back to the 4th century and not during the time of Jesus Christ and his disciples. These manuscripts were not in Aramaic, the language of Jesus Christ and his disciples. Ancient translations were also found in other languages, such as Latin Vulgate. These translations were untrustworthy, as they were not similar and contradicted each other, making it very difficult for Bible scholars to assess the manuscripts and determine what the writers were trying to convey. Some writings of the early church fathers exist today as well. When one language is translated to another, meanings are often lost. Since languages are constantly changing, meanings are assumed that were not originally intended due to the differences in the languages. Words have many shades of meanings and a translator chooses one above another, limiting or expanding the range of the original intended meaning, especially when doing so in a time without dictionaries. Different scribes worked over the years with many attempting to make grammatical or other changes simply because the theology did not correlate with the person's theology making the edits. For example, the words son and lord in the English context have a different connotation than those in Aramaic and Greek. This is one of the reasons for the confusion about Jesus Christ being the Son of God and Lord. Since the Bible consists of man-made, cut-and-pasted text from ancient manuscripts found in the 4th century AD and after, different versions are in print and attempts have been made to translate and compile these manuscripts. These attempts were translated by individuals whose honesty, qualifications, and knowledge are unknown. So, the modern-day English Bible is a translation of what someone may have heard someone else say, who may have written it down in a different language, translated into another language, then again to another language. As a result, Bibles come in different sizes, contain different texts, and reveal thousands of errors and contradictions. We do not have in our possession a text in Aramaic, the language spoken by Jesus Christ, that dates to the life of Jesus Christ except for a handful of words in that regard. How can Christians say that a particular English translation of the Bible is the Word of God? when their scholars are reduced to debating which version is the most accurate and correct. Unlike the Holy Quran, today's Bible is not the verbatim word of God, but rather the word of men attempting to translate old manuscripts they found in languages that Jesus Christ and his disciples did not speak. These manuscripts were found years after the departure of Christ by unknown authors. Modern Christian scholars recognize that the Old and New Testaments have been altered, distorted, and changed during the last centuries. They acknowledge that this text contains words of man and not the divine being. After the departure of Jesus Christ, Paul and his church altered his words and teachings. The scriptures and teachings were modified to conform with Paul's theology and not the theology taught by Jesus Christ. The Holy Quran is the primary source of Islam for all Muslims. 
Unlike the Bible, the Holy Quran is the verbatim Word of God. Since the Holy Quran is the Word of God and unique in content and style, it cannot be translated. Therefore, any translation is to be taken only as an interpretation of the meanings of the Holy Quran and not the actual Quranic text that God sent. Different translations of the Holy Quran help non-Arabic-speaking audiences comprehend its meaning. Distinctions must be drawn between the Holy Quran